This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.20.3. Announcements now displays author information on new and edited announcements. This functionality is controlled by D2L, Tools, News, Author Information Default, Configuration Variable, and a new Can Manage Author Information and Settings permission. When a user creates or edits an announcement, a new Display Author Information checkbox displays in the new Edit Announcement page. Users reading the announcement may see some or all of the following author information. The original author, the original date and time of the announcement, the author who edited the announcement, the date and time of the edit. The D2L, Tools, Dropbox, Assignment Grader Link URL, and D2L, Tools, Dropbox, Show Assignment Grader Link, Configuration Variables, and the Download Assignment Grader banner on the submission page has been removed. To improve cloud environment security, D2L is proactively blocking suspicious requests using a web app firewall. Note, this feature is currently available to Australia and Europe hosted clients and will be rolled out to Canada and US in April. The end of unit page has been updated to remove the moose puzzle image. This feature implements PI item D5344. In the new learner experience, the end of unit page now includes a progress meter. To align with IMS Global Best Practices, two new history fields that comply with the LTI 1.0, 1.1, and 1.3 specifications are now supported when copying courses with LTI links. This feature implements PI items D3632 and D1633. For more information, review the release notes. Brightspace Datasets version 5 is now available. Version 4 will continue to exist in parallel for six months. To enable, ensure the CAN Access Brightspace Datasets permission is granted to administrators at the org level and the D2L Tools Brightspace Datasets version configuration variable is set to version 5. This feature implements PI item D5306. For more information, review the release notes. To increase the value of the Data Hub offering and provide a consistent data access experience, portfolio datasets are now aligned with the existing BDS schedules. Note the portfolio datasets require the D2L, Tools, Brightspace datasets version set to version 4 or 5, and the CAN Access Brightspace Datasets permission is granted to administrators at the org level. Historical data dated back to May 2019 is now available in the existing portfolio evidence log dataset. Two new datasets have also been created, portfolio categories and portfolio objects. To enable, ensure the CAN Access Brightspace Datasets permission is granted to administrators at the org level and the D2L Tools Brightspace Datasets version configuration variable is set to version 4 or 5. Your instructors can now add an exact time when enrollment for groups opens and the exact time when self-enrollment expires. This feature implements PI item D3002. Instructors using anonymous marking can access QuickEval with confidence that it supports their anonymous marking needs. This feature implements PI item D5647.
your instructors can now import quiz questions stored in Brightspace Learning Object Repository. Note, this requires the D2L, Tools, Quizzes, New Quiz Builder Experience, Configuration Variable, and the Retrieve Objects from the LoRa permission is set at the course offering level. To import quiz questions stored in LoRa, click Import and select Import from Learning Repository. The publishing workflow in the new Rubrics grading experience now includes a confirmation message that warns users when the rubric is not fully evaluated. Users attempting to publish an incomplete rubric evaluation must now click Publish to complete the workflow. This feature implements PI item D3819. In Rubrics, when using keyboard navigation to tab to a row of selectable cells, there is now a focus indicator to help orient users on the page. Your instructors can now manually map achievement levels to rubric levels for all types of rubrics. Instructors are also able to override the percentage scale alignment with respect to an individual rubric if they choose to do so. The overall score level is now calculated after all the criteria in the rubric has been assessed. Thanks for watching. We are always looking to hear from you about the types of videos you'd like to see. Drop us a comment below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.